to let people know what IBM is about. Um, what we also find is that uh, many of the um, uh, tours that we get on the farm are from Probus clubs and the likes, people of the public, and they're always fascinated with the way, uh, first of all, the way a commercial operation works, but also the things we do when we talk about our you know, sustainability and our IPM program. They haven't got a clue of really what goes on. It would be good to educate them so that they become more confident in, in, in using vegetables and know that as growers we are responsible in this century. I mean, one of the, the big things of, of the IPM is partly a perception thing of consumers and most consumers, I mean I don't think anyone would disagree if you went and said have this one that's had five sprays on it or seven or ten sprays or this one which has had you know none or maybe one soft chemical that's not you know, doesn't have a high toxicity to mammals or any other environmental thing, that people would make that choice. You know, it, it works and sure there are some failures at times, but there are failures in conventional chemical uh, agriculture. There's failures with the confidor and lettuce aphid and, and so people tend not to, they take that in their stride, but then when there's a, a, a problem with an IPM crop, it's, oh, well, that's because of the IPM, you, you didn't do it right. And so they're, they're issues that I think we've got to try and address. Thanks for coming. Um, I guess the purpose of today was to, to demonstrate uh, in a commercial situation that uh, IPM can be used to control pests in lettuce, and that includes lettuce aphid. And so this crop here uh, has never been treated with any insecticide, hasn't been drenched with confidor. Uh, lettuce aphid has been present through the life of this crop, but at harvest uh, it would be very difficult to find any lettuce aphid in here and we'd invite you all to, to look for yourselves, to have a, have a look, see if you can find any. Um, we're pretty confident that the only things left here at the moment are uh, predatory so uh, maybe Darren, if you want to just describe the, the crop and how it's grown or anything else. Yep, I'll, I'll describe the, the, the method that I've used for um, um, IPM on the uh, lettuce aphid. And that's um, whenever we start on a new block, we, uh, I usually uh, wait for two weeks after the first planting and I'll gather some old cos lettuce from uh, an older block with uh, plenty of beneficials and I'll harvest them and place them out in the crop to help with um, transferring beneficials over and we just monitor regularly. Um, there, there was uh, the odd uh, occasion where we had a, a flight of aphids come in and while they're winged and the crop's still young and the plant's open we can uh, spray with pyramore if need be and that might have happened once or twice over the season. But not on this. But uh, on this block it was uh, completely uh, clean and free of any insecticide and um, it seemed to control it quite well. Okay. So, um, and so we can you say how much um, area or how many plants you plant each week? Or it's, for, it's, it's about 40,000, um, like specifically cos lettuce. Yeah. It's about 40,000 a week get yeah. planted. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's a significant amount of lettuce. It's, uh, it's not a small plot trial. Mm. <coughs> if it was going to fail, um, you know, the, the stories that were um, going around before lettuce aphid really got going was that if you did not drench, you would have four, five thousand aphids per head of lettuce. You know, you can see there's no way that, that, that that's so. Yeah. We're not saying that there's no lettuce aphid in here, and there certainly has been lettuce aphid through here, but by uh, controlling the, the insecticides that go on, and by monitoring the, the beneficials to make sure there's enough there, any insecticide use would be strategic at a certain stage. It certainly would be impossible to spray out any population of aphids at this stage. But the beneficials we're talking about are brown lacewings and hoverflies. And uh, if you want to look in this box, or we'll pass it round, yeah, or maybe Anna could pass it round, uh, you could point out where they are, because they're, they're minute, and so they will chase the aphids deep into the, the heart of the lettuce and uh, not be like the pesticides that can only get on the, on the surface. Uh, but we have hoverflies and brown lacewings in this crop uh, and that's all we've found. There's hardly any, any aphids. Do you want to 